workers' cooperative enables the workers to engage themselves in employment fundamentally. Employee ownership for the benefits both financially and socially of the business go to the employees. The people who create the wealth uh, uh, control how it's used. Collective decision making. Everybody that works in the place has, has an equal say in the running of the business. The Workers' Cooperative is about labour coming together to cooperate and collectively participate in the production process. You're in a worker co-op, you're, you're in control of your job. I think the experience of working there is different because you, you know, even in a workers' cooperative, if you have coordinators, you don't have that same hierarchy and that people telling you to do things just because they said so. So it makes sense, the work that you're doing, and you feel more comfortable. And I think sort of longer term as well, you do have that sense of security, which you'll never have if you're working for someone else. Other working environments which we've experienced have been so emotionally unacceptable that people switch off um, and don't see work as part of um, uh, as part of what life should be about. Many of the women that are the mem new members of this cleaning society uh, work for minimum wage or below minimum wage, and basically we're going home to their deprived areas, and the, the person who they were working for, we're going home to their mansions. Nobody's taking a lot of money out of it. They line their own pockets for doing very little work. Worker-owner cooperatives can be competitive, innovative and profitable and still have a very fundamental sense and highly developed sense of social responsibility. As opposed to a conventional business where the management dictates what happens within a workers' co-op, it's actually the workers make those decisions and live by the decisions that they make themselves. What you cannot achieve as an individual, you can achieve it collectively.